know guys, this is going to be my top 5 films of 2016. Yeah, we've had a lot of films come out this year, some awesome, awesome stuff. Um, obviously, I've not been able to see every single film, so this is going to be my top five of the films that I've seen this year. I think I've seen about eight or nine films, most of them comic book related stuff. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be what I thought of the best films of 2016. Five. In at number five is Suicide Squad. Now, there's been you know ups and downs and loves and hates on both sides for this film, because let's face it, the DC haven't been doing very well of pushing forward their universe. Uh, Batman vs Superman was a bit of a... But Suicide Squad, for me, I enjoyed it. Was it perfect? No. Was the Joker perfect? No. But I enjoyed the film, the characters were fun, the, the you know, the, the ending was a little bit too explosive, kind of random kind of stuff, but the characters I enjoyed, uh, it worked for me. The Joker, no, it wasn't perfect, it wasn't a Heath Ledger, but he, Jared Leto gave me a Joker that I think I can get on board with. I'm looking forward to seeing what him and Ben Affleck do together when they eventually meet. That I'm looking forward to. It pushes the narrative forward towards the Justice League. The characters are really fun to get on board with. Captain Boomerang was awesome. Deadshot, Will Smith work. I mean, uh, Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie, just wow. I mean, she did an incredible job as that character. And, you know, overall, I came away enjoying that film. So it is definitely in this top five. In number four is Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange again, Marvel are just proving that they can they just they've got a complete handle on their universe and although it was a bit of a paint by numbers as far as the the story's concerned, it, it, but it was still a fun time at the cinema. It was it was a different kind of ending compared to what we usually get. And they did the character of Doctor Strange justice. Benedict Cumberbatch does an incredible job. Again, the only problem I would say is that the bad guy is a little bit wasted as usual, but Mad Max still does a good job of that character. And overall, the film was a good time. It was a complete, absolute mindfuck as far as special effects, and it really pushes into that universe of like magic and all this kind of stuff. And finally, releasing another another. Uh, Infinity Stone as well, so we've only got one more to go. So yeah, it was good, and it pushes it forward um, in, into Thor Ragnarok, it pushes it forward into the Infinity War, and I'm just looking forward to seeing what happens next. In at number three is Deadpool. I mean, Deadpool, just for me, it was absolutely incredible. I cannot fault it from start to finish. Like, even though it was a small budget, they did absolutely amazing stuff with that budget. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. He does his absolute perfection in that character. It was a simple love story filled with blood, violence, swearing, fourth wall breaking, and everything about it was exactly what I hoped it would be. It was perfect, and I'm so happy that we finally got this character done justice on the big screen. I cannot wait for Deadpool 2, because we're going to get Cable. That I'm looking forward to. So yeah, Deadpool was incredible, and I, I've seen it again and again and again, and it never gets boring. And I'm, I'm so happy we've you know got this character, as well as the R-rated stuff in the X-Men universe. It was awesome. At number two is Captain America Civil War. Now this, for me, probably goes down as my favourite Marvel Cinematic Universe film to date. It's up there with the first Avengers film. It's that good. It was absolutely incredible. The characters in this were just, it, it's been building and building and building all this time for Tony Stark and Cap to go against each other and they did it with such incredible fashion. They put all these characters in from the Avengers, yet not tearing away from the fact that it's still a Captain America storyline and it, they just did absolute justice with it. The, the airport fight scene was incredible. The final fight between um, Cap, Bucky and uh, Stark was absolutely incredible. And even the villain, Zemo, although he's not super powered, he's just a bloke, he's just a regular human being. He was, you know, he had a really good plan, and he was actually one of my one of my favourite villains in this universe because he was able to actually split them apart and everything, and he was able to do a lot of things that other big villains couldn't do, and I, I have to tip my hat to that character. But overall, the direction was incredible, the scenes were incredible, the special effects were awesome, the one-liners were brilliant, everything about this film was absolute Marvel Cinematic Universe perfection, and it's going to be really hard to top. In at number one, probably somewhat obviously, is Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I mean, I've got a feeling that my top fives are going to be uh, headed by Star Wars for the next few years because they just, they know what they're doing. They've solidified the fact that Disney know what they're doing with this universe. It was an absolutely incredible film. So many nods and tip of the caps to the old original series and just so many awesome characters. The story was brilliant. It leads straight into A New Hope and it works so perfectly. Darth Vader was brilliant i mean he wasn't in it a lot but he was in it enough and they were cool and it was amazing scenes uh the Jin Erso character i really liked her the only thing i would say is some of the other characters weren't built as well but i still enjoyed it we kind of had to get through it to get to the next point and 
it was brilliant. I mean, uh, Krennic as well, that character, the bad guy, he was awesome. And overall, I just, you know, considering we know what the story was, uh, of basically these guys are getting the Death Star fans to give them to Leia to obviously destroy the Death Star. We knew the story. They still have plenty of shockers in it, plenty of awesome moments. Um, you should go and check my review for it because I praise it so much on there. It is without doubt the best film of 2016 and I won't have anybody argue that point at all. It was amazing. Star Wars is just my bread and butter and I'm so happy that we've got this universe again. Overall guys, these, these films among many others were really really fun this year. Um, I'm so happy that we're in this point now where we've got so many awesome comic book movies, Star Wars and all this kind of stuff that I didn't think we'd be getting ever really. Back when I was a kid I think well Star Wars is finished now, the Marvel Universe just wasn't there at that point and now we've got all these movies that I can enjoy and it's, it's, the, it's the greatest time to be a movie fan, it really is. So I'm really looking forward to 2017 because we've got a lot more movies to enjoy. So that's my top five movies of 2016. What are your favourite movies? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me on the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, moviepilot.com. Just type in Nerdbites anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And of course, keep it nerdy.